Is there anyone else who would like to address the council this evening? Please come forward. Give us your name, where you live, and you have four minutes. Uh, Kevin Linke. Everybody knows where I live, so um, <laughs> uh, I'm here tonight. I'm sure everybody in the room understands why I'm here and knows why I'm here. Um, the recent incident involving Officer Shouty at the Port Huron Police Department. Um, it's curious that Mr. Shouty, um, his dad isn't here tonight. He's usually the city attorney that attends these. Um, he may be on vacation. It may be something innocuous, or he just may be a coward like his son. Um, I don't know. But... Uh, <laughs> You know, it's highly inappropriate that we have a police officer that punched a citizen in the face. And what's even more concerning and uh, disconcerting about this situation is not one public leader, none of you, not the chief, not the assistant chief, nobody has stood up and talked about this publicly. Y'all are just keeping your heads down and being the cowards that you are and hoping this blows over. I know PHPD right now is working on their new accreditation. And so this one's going to probably cause some problems. They also have the issue of the assistant chief physically removing me. Um, it seems PHPD can't keep their hands to themselves, and the city council needs to look into that. And Officer Shouty needs to be fired. He doesn't need to be retrained. If a police officer needs to be retrained to understand that you don't punch people in the face, there's something wrong with who's doing the training. So you guys should look into that and address that. Um, you know, this when this happens in other communities, the leaders in that community speak up, they address it, they say something about it. None of you say anything. You're too busy sitting around at Applebee's, having your drinks, joking, and carrying on like there's not things going on in this city that need to change. Um, it's an embarrassment to the city that this is everywhere. This whole situation went viral. You have a police officer who is the son of the city attorney punching someone in the face, and no one's talking about it um, outside of me and, and the group that I have. And, uh, you know, that's just, it's unbelievable, to be quite honest. And so, you know, shouting needs to be fired, plain and simple. He's a danger to the community and something else is going to happen. I have more videos of Officer Shouty's behavior that I will be releasing soon. So we'll see where that goes. What else I would like to address, and since Mr. Freed's too much of a coward to look at me, um, after the last meeting I went to, you stood up. You guys don't usually address people when they talk. Well, you two address um, what I had to say. And you talk about this letter he has in his personnel file saying he wasn't involved in, in an appropriate relationship. Um, here's the issue. Where's my cease and desist letter? Where's my demand for retraction? Where's the lawsuit? Because if you guys are going to call me a liar, have the balls to really call me a liar and let's start some litigation. Because the fact that you're all sitting around and you get your little signed letters from Ashley and James saying nothing was going on, how are you going to explain the uh, police report and the, the, um, the uh, registration records that I have from the hotel that he checked into? So, you know, we're going to be filing my own lawsuit soon. I'm still waiting for your guys' because I want you, if you're going to tell me I'm a liar and it's not true, Where's my uh, demand for retraction? I will gladly retract it if you can prove it isn't true or even send me the letter, but you won't because you're cowards and you know what he did and you know what he does. So, you know, we'll keep doing this. We'll keep talking about it. Um, a lot of eyes on this city now. You're looking at the clock, Mayor? How much time I got? No, left? actually, I wasn't at that. I kind of glanced for a minute. You have about uh, 57 seconds. 57? Cool. Yeah. Um, what else we want to talk about? I mean... You guys stand up and address this with Officer Shouty. You're the mayor. Why are you not addressing this? Why are you not speaking out that, hey, we do not condone this officer's actions. We do not condone his behavior. We are very sorry that this citizen had to experience this. That's what leaders do. They lead. They don't sit around and wait for things to blow over and hope nothing else happens. Because if you all haven't figured this out yet, things keep happening. You just had all both police departments, the sheriff's department and PHPD get embarrassed with this runaway situation. And right on the heels of that, we're in here with an officer punching someone in the face. And when I tried to ask Chief Platzer what the policy was for use of force, he was evasive as hell with me. And it's all on his body cam. So you, we can uh, play that conversation if you want to. He just wouldn't give me a straight answer. And you guys won't tell what happened to Officer Shouty. Disclose his punishment. The, the city wants to know what his punishment was for punching somebody in the face. And I'll tell you what, find Excuse Officer me. Shouty. I'm going to finish. Find Officer Shouty. Tell him the next time he wants to bully somebody to come find me. And let's see what happens when he takes a swing on me. Okay, so your time is jobs up. And put this guy in check. And your time is up. Thank you. Is there anyone else in the audience who wishes to address the city council this evening? You have four minutes. If you'd like to come forward and give us your name. Yes, sir.
Hello, my name is Mary Williams and I'm a citizen of the South Side of Port Huron. And I would like to say, reclaiming my time. I would like to say, I would like to say that we have some very fine police officers in Port Huron. I just think you need to know that. But on this, at the same time, we have some bad actors. Hal Smith, <clears throat> Hal Smith, and anybody who don't know who Hal Smith is, look him up. He was a actor um, on the Andy Griffin show. His character on the show ha had an agreement with uh, the sheriff, um, Sheriff Taylor, that any time he became under the influence, he will step. He would stumble himself through the streets of Mary Mayberry and bring and and bring himself to the courthouse and lock himself up for the rest of the weekend. Monday through Friday, the character would work as a glue dipper in a, a furniture factory. But when the weekend came, Otis owned the weekend. Somebody knows who Otis is. Never did I see Sheriff Taylor assault Otis or he would just tell him to go home, um, to go home or go over to the courthouse. He referred to Otis and other people uh, in the city at, with his Southern mannerism as you're a bird of this world. He would refer to the, that referred to them as their uniqueness. We have unique people in this city. Hal Smith only appeared on 32 of the 249 episodes. In 1960, <clears throat> the sponsor of the, one of the sponsors of the Andy Griffin show wanted to get rid of the character, Otis Campbell. Campbell. But instead, he, he, uh, insti instead, the producer of the show got rid of the sponsor. We have many unique people or birds of this world, and all should be treated with kindness and respect. Respect For the officer to punch a citizen in the face and claim that he swung at him first is wrong. And then what makes it even worse is for, a, what makes it even worse is to pretend that it didn't happen or try to cover it up. As a citizen of this city, I cannot pretend to cover up things. We have too many bad actors from the court system all the way down to the people who sweep the streets. An injustice to one is an injustice to all. Yes, the man had a sharp tongue who was in the video against the police officers. Yes, that was kind of wrong, but sometimes we all have sharp tongues also. The police officer, the um, the man did not deserve to be assaulted. We must find ways to address people who are unique. This could have been your father, your mother, your sister, your brother, your son, or your daughter. When, bad be when a bad behavior, be bad behavior as the officer displays happen, more than just a good talking to or a slap on the wrist should occur. He was sent to training. Well, we the city the citizens paid for that training. He was sent probably hotel fare wherever he had to go be trained at traveling mileage. So we paid for that, and 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 that is why I am here today to request that the officer be arrested for assault against a citizen of this city. Very. My time. Oh, you've only had two seconds there when that phone okay. rang. Mayberry had its flaws, but it did embrace its its uniquenesses. Port Huron has its flaws, but we can do better than this. Thank, Thank you. Is there anyone else in the audience who wishes to address the city council this evening? If so, please come forward. Give us your name. You have four minutes. Hello. I can't, my name is Heather. I've been a longtime citizen of Port Huron, moved out of Port Huron, still in St. Clair County. 
Wish I would have known about Ms. Lenke two years ago, almost three. What I've seen in the past, and I've donated much of my time to the community, I have seen some good officers, but I've seen some shit show officers too. I've had officers handing with the, standing looking at me with their arms folded like they were at a patriotic parade, telling me not to make a show of it, telling me that I have to pay for police cam that is digitized and bleeped out to prove how I was re-victimized by the Port Huron Police Department in the case of my daughter's death. Now, we've had officers that have talked to me kindly, saying they were going to do something and did nothing. We had other officers get promoted of how good of a job they did on my daughter's case. Do you know not one officer called me to tell me my daughter was dead? Not one officer apologized to me, uh, but they degraded me. They degraded my other living daughter, and they told her to shut her mouth. It wasn't a Jerry Springer show. There is a lot of things that has to change with the Port Huron Police Department. And me, myself, if I was to get in trouble, I would not want a Port Huron police officer. I would rather have a Michigan State police officer because there has been too much swept under the rug in Port Huron. I have five grandsons, and I do not even want to raise them in Port Huron because I know what's going to happen to my grandsons if they stay in Port Huron. You guys might want to think about more of where your money is being spent <laughs> for all these different programs. Maybe open up some programs that can do something for the community. Have the police officers be a little bit more intent on checking up on the people who are victims and didn't ask to be victims.